Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And as you see here, the beautiful squash plant is looking unbelievable. Look at these three beautiful flowers that blossomed overnight. And I wanted to mention how important it is to have a night schedule. And it's not just about the, the how much light you're providing it, it's just as important for the plant to get rest and grow. At nighttime is when the plant pr puts on a lot of new growth and makes a lot of new progress and it has time to concentrate all its energy into the plant and I just want to mention that this squash plant is being grown in just a little quart mason jar so this is a really small container and look at this beautiful beautiful plant let me take it out of here for a moment so you can see a little closer look at this thing and if you look in towards the center you could see there's a lot more flowers now, like I mentioned earlier, the male flowers are the ones that come and they have the long stem that comes up and then just has a flower at the base. And the female flowers, there will be a fruit right here at the base of the flower and it stays nice and compact and short. And the male flowers compete with each other so they get nice and tall and they want to get nice and big so they're able to open up like this and get all the pollinators to, to fly over and gather the pollen from the male flower here as you see that's male flower and it has the little straight stem right there and it has all the pollen around it you could even see it so if i touch you on my finger a tiny bit just so i could show you look at this that's the pollen basically right there and you could trans transfer this to a female flower which we don't have presently at the moment. I mean, I'm sure it's in there, but it's still developing. So we can't pollinate it just yet. So what I wanted to mention you could do is you could just come in and take these flowers and you could actually eat the flowers here. They're very edible and very delicious. And being that we have so many male flowers compared to female flowers, you could definitely give yourself a nice little treat. And these things are just beautiful, I think. So imagine serving your wife or your husband a nice little dish, a surprise meal that you're making, and it has this beautiful flower on it, and you could eat it then as well. I think that's pretty impressive and makes a nice beautiful garnish. There's also a nice little recipe that you can make where you could put stuff it with ricotta cheese, and that's apparently supposed to be really delicious. This thing is like really sweet in flavor, especially the pollen on the inside. And when you're eating it, you basically just want to eat just the petals up until here. You don't want to eat this green part right here because it gets thorny at this point and it might prickle you. So you don't want to do that. And just in case, if you're allergic to pollen, definitely don't eat this. This has a ton of pollen. And I always recommend doing your own research before e eating anything new. But squash plants, I mean squash flowers really are edible and there's a bunch of vegetables that are edible as well. And if you see right here, I'm, the plant earlier was basically coming over and it started falling over. And now it just, if you look at the base of the plant, it basically just laid itself down on the jar, the top of the net cup. So it's nice and balanced. We don't need to tie this thing up at all. Once it starts putting on fruit and starts getting nice and heavy down here, at that point I'm going to probably come in and tie it up. But for now, I'm just going to let this thing grow because it's looking nice and beautiful, I think. And I just wanted to give you a quick little update about what's going on. And mention one more thing here. If you see, if I zoom you in here, the flower right there. You could always tell which flowers are about to blossom because they look nice and yellow. They be begin to put on this like yellow tint instead of like a little green color like it is here, as well as they start producing in size to get nice and lanky, really tall and long. You can see the comparison right there. Look at the small one here compared to this nice large one here. And you could even see the color difference. So those always blossom overnight. So definitely keep a little night schedule 
You want to have minimum at least six hours of, of nighttime for the plant. But I keep my lights on basically for 14 hours on and 10 hours off. So my plants are doing really well and look very happy. So if you're interested in growing plants indoors and you were wondering about growing squash hydroponic Kratky style, I think you definitely could do it. And we'll come back soon when this plant has some female flowers. And I'll show you how to hand pollinate this thing to guarantee beautiful success and have a nice, nice harvest. And as always, thanks for watching.